Hi, everybody. Dugras here with Dugras Reports. Today, I'll be telling you a personal testimonial. This is a little bit of a success story about travel insurance and how I did make a claim and it was successfully resolved. This specifically relates to Allianz travel insurance. I will mention right up front that I am not an affiliate of Allianz. I have no special links to them. I don't get anything out of this. Just a random average guy who used it. And I just wanted to tell you about my personal experience with that. Before I dive in on this particular channel, we talk about finding epic value for the average American, including, but not limited to, credit card rewards. If that interests you or you get any sort of value out of this video whatsoever, please subscribe to my channel and please click the thumbs up button. Let's dive in. So back in April, I knew I would be taking some trips this year. If you're watching in the future, this is 2023. Uh, I went to Florida back in April. I had a family reunion in Branson, Missouri a few weeks ago. Uh, we're going to Europe later this summer, and then I'll be taking some sort of solo trip in the fall. At least that's the plan. So more travel than I've ever been used to doing than we've ever been doing before. So I wanted to get an annual travel plan, some sort of annual travel insurance. I didn't do a ton of research, but the small amount of research I did, uh, the best price compared to what you get for me was Allianz Travel Insurance. And I'll put a link down below, either in a pinned comment or the description box that links you there. Um, you have to do a comparison. So it depends on your age, the age of the people traveling with you, those kinds of things, the number of people traveling. For my family, it was a party of four, two adults, two kids, including my wife and I and our two boys. And the price came out to this amount. I'll put it up on the screen. It was $485, and that is what I paid when I signed up for it. So that quote is still reflected the same. But again, it can vary with your state of residence and a variety of other factors. So you'd have to run your own comparison. That's a year of coverage, a rolling 365 days of coverage. So while we were in Branson for our family reunion, which is about a six to eight hour drive from the Des Moines area, um, we had something come up. So my son is type one juvenile diabetic, and he uses a device called an Omnipod, comes in a box like this, and the device kind of looks like this. It's an insulin delivery system, so you actually wear this on your skin, and it delivers insulin via a little gadget that it communicates with remotely. That's about actual size. So you can just put it on your arm or your thigh or belly or whatever instructions your doctor gives you. When we went to change the Omnipod, there's a filament. It's about three eighths of an inch long. It's supposed to go into your skin and get the blood sugar readings that way. But it didn't go in. It just impacted on the surface. It didn't go in. Just impacted on the surface. Which we didn't know about right away. But a little later on, we went to take it off. We found out it had scratched the skin. This is a very, very rare thing, but it can happen. And the skin got an infection, cellulitis. Um, we called his local doctor's office and they said, well, it's not an emergency, but you can't just let it go for a whole week. You're going to have to find emergency room, urgent care, walk-in clinic, something like that. We didn't want to go to the emergency room because you'll probably have to wait in line for seven hours. His medical insurance only covered emergency rooms. But then I remembered I had the Allianz insurance. So I'm like, hey, I don't want to wait in line for emergency room. Let's go to an urgent care, submit it to Allianz and see what happens. Now I had called them and asked, they said that should be fine. Just go to any place that has, um, you know, it's a certified hospital clinic, walk-in clinic, whatever. So we found one called Cox Health. We went into urgent care. The visit itself was very fast, very easy. Shout out to those folks in and out in 45 minutes, basically, yep, it's infected, you just need a prescription antibiotic and you need to start it right away. So we paid for the clinic, 140-ish dollars. We paid for a prescription antibiotic and it was around 20-ish dollars. We saved our receipts, we just paid all that out of pocket, no insurance, no medical insurance involved. And then a few days later, I went online and submitted it, actually before we even left Branson to Allianz, I uploaded the discharge information, which showed the diagnosis, so kind of like medical records, not exactly, but similar. 
the receipt for the pharmacy and the receipt for the clinic itself and just wanted to see what would happen. I wondered a little bit because it said you're supposed to submit a trip itinerary, but a family member was paying for our lodging in a bed and breakfast Airbnb type place and we drove. So there was no plane ticket, no rental car. It was just a trip. We were traveling away from home. Um, in some cases, they probably have to have that to prove that this isn't like business or something, just a normal course of your life. But in our case, for whatever reason, they didn't actually require it. The things I required were good enough. And like three days later, I got an email saying the claim was approved and we were good to go. So here is the envelope that it came in. The envelope is postmarked on June 14th. The actual trip to urgent care was on June 6th. So it only took a week and one day. And here's the check. And it's upside down <laughs> right there, $160 and change. So uh, yeah, they paid our whole claim pretty quickly and easily. Now, obviously we paid a lot more for the insurance because this was a really minor medical issue, but peace of mind and it worked. So if someone asks me about travel insurance, I know there's different philosophies and I'm not going to recommend it. I'm not going to not recommend it. Check with your own financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on the internet. But it is nice to know, like, if something happens while we're away from home, you don't have to be doing that debate in your mind of like, oh, this is going to be so expensive. You can just go get the treatment and worry about the financial part later or, or not worry about it later. Just go through some steps related to paperwork. So that's my success story. A small claim for Allianz annual travel insurance, but it was really easy to do and it worked more importantly, and there was no hassle. They didn't ask me any weird questions or anything. I can't guarantee another person's experience wouldn't be different. And obviously ours was a small amount, but I chalk it up to a success story. Put comments down below if you have any questions or just things you want to comment on. I'll try my best to respond to each one personally. Remember, if you got any value out of this whatsoever, please subscribe to the channel and click thumbs up. As always, may your spending be frugal and may your points be plenteous. Thanks for watching.